this is our road ship. Uh, the purpose of our trip uh, is to document um, Uncle Sakas elimination in Abuhama, the focus of the north of Nile state uh, of Sudan. We will be talking with the people who have had the disease before and they will be telling you the changes they have seen in their lifetime due to this medicine. We are not supposed only to sit in the office. We do come to the field to facilitate the work and help the state level staff, to the locality staff level, to the administrative unit, even to the villages. And we sometimes participate and answer questions during the mobilizations, health education. And the community appreciate that. Tong, where did you learn how to, to move the ferry? Okay. I was always there, I used to cross the river. So it's not like it's not like driving a car. No, no, no. Well, in Muhammad here, the activities are going well because people in the United States of America, in African countries, are looking towards Muhammad, towards the big challenge, the elimination in Africa. People has taken the challenge also at the lower level here in Muhammad, starting from the state, the locality, and the village level. They are happy. They are. Uh, fed up of the filaria, the oncosarcase in this area. Abhamad is an oncosarcase focus that is clearly isolated. The limits are determined by the desert. There was a time when people believed that in Africa, oncosarcase cannot be eliminated. They simply said, in Africa, it's impossible. Uh, we can say at the end of the day, that it is possible to eliminate oncosarcosis on the African continent. We are in the Jeref village, a village which you set aside for periodic impact evaluation, and uh, there is a fly catching site on the river nearby here. We will see people with symptoms that are permanent, like leopard skin. Uh, but we may not be able to see other symptoms because um, here oncosarcosis prevalence has been reduced considerably with ivermectin. This is a medicine donated by Mark and Company to all oncosarcosis endemic countries. It's given free and Mark promised to give it as long as required. This is taken and delivered at the community level and the people in the community are educated and trained on how to determine dosage and when they treat, how do they record the treatments and report back who has been treated. And because the communities are doing it themselves, we are able to treat more than 90% of the people that need to be treated twice a year. Those who have taken Makizan this year, 